Uh, I guess we're going to have to find Aliena again to talk to her about uh, the Fullers, huh? I will do everything in my power to make sure you are paid. I know that you showed us mercy before when we had to flee from Earl's castle. My husband has worked here ever since, and we would like to be close to Our Lady Aliena, but we have no choice. Oh, Mary. The same goes for us, Mary. We all owe Philip much. I trust you, Father, but I risk my neck up there every day. My wife is right. If you can't pay, we'll have to move on. Kingsbridge is our home. I don't want to leave. Let me think of something. Maybe there's a way we can pay your workers early, Philip. But selling the wool at the fleece fair will take at least a couple of days. I'm sorry, but me and the other workers can't wait that long. Not now that everything is so unsure. Trust me, Philip. I'll think of something. Jack! You said you were done with your corbel. I did? What I saw did not look finished. It's hard. I didn't... I, I need time. I didn't say how I, I was finished, finished though. Today. If you don't do it, Alfred will. That's my corbel. None of this is ours. Doing the carvings is the only job you didn't give Alfred to screw up. We should be thankful of the work we're allowed to do. And in our work, we must be thorough and steadfast. Thankful for what we are allowed to do. You are the one who wouldn't settle for less than a cathedral. You could have had other work, but no. For months, you remained steadfast, no matter the cost. When are you going to tell Jonathan about what happened in the forest? What a bitch! Wow! Ugh. Shouldn't have said that about Jonathan. Damn it. What a motherfucking bitch! What? Jack is a bitch? I thought Alfred was a bitch. No, sir. No, sir, I was wrong. The, uh, the bitch made uh, reward goes to motherfucking Jack, that's for sure. The Jack with two dads. <laughs> All right, Jack with two dads. Uh, uh, I kind of want to get back a little bit. Maybe talk to Tom. Apologize. Well, Tom's not here. Uh, uh, yeah, we haven't been in the kitchen, so might as well just go there. That's Philip. Read his Bible. Well, that's uh, read his Bible, not read. Reading the Bible once, probably even twice. I don't think that's it's enough, though, to have a full picture. Do you have a moment? Of course. That's Take it. Take care for now. All right. You too. Uh, the day is kind of ending, so I guess uh, these are these are a little bit timed. Oh shit! The uh, <laughs> the UI is bugged again, huh? Son of a bee! All right, fixed uh, the UI problem. Hmm. I actually haven't checked the cathedral altogether. Once the west side and its towers rise above the priory, it'll be even more impressive. Only a few more years, what I'd give to build at least one of the towers. A few more years. Uh, let's go to the kitchen. Hello, Milius. Jack. Uh, and Jonathan. This is not the best of times. 
What is that? Brother Cuthbert could have been a little more careful in storing the apples down here. I'm sure it's fine, Brother Andrew. I am not so sure. Even the salt is damp. Cuthbert knew what he was doing. Is he dead? What is Brother Andrew up to? Did Cuthbert we die? We will get a new cellarer soon. Andrew is preparing everything. I think uh, Maybe they should get a new kitchener as well. Damn. Why? If what Cuthbert did was not good enough, then what I can do can't be much better. Cuthbert knew so much more than I did. Damn, he's depressed all of a sudden. Two. This guy can't Three. count? God damn. Four. Uh, I'm gonna assume that, uh... Five. That Cuthbert passed away. There the market. What am I going to in here? No, there's not. Seems to be in a bad mood. Ah, no. Here it is. Uh. Missing sausage. No, no. Not the missing sausage. Not the sausage. Kitchen utensils? Not my kind of tools. Maybe I should learn cooking. You're a bitch we mate, so you probably should be. You mean until I taught him everything and then he is a cellarer? These are hard times. We cannot just bring a new monk into our priory. If I have to teach someone, then I can just do it myself. Do you have the time to do that? No, I do not. Maybe the sacrist has time to be cellar at the same time? <laughs> Me? No, no. That couldn't possibly work. Why is that? Then why would you assume that the kitchener has time? <laughs> yeah, Andrew is the, uh, oh, yeah. the accountant, I guess, in, uh, in some way. Uh, mortar? Cuthbert's mortar. I miss him. Here. Yeah, he probably passed away. I think, uh, uh, Cuthbert is no longer with us. Uh, but Philip is? <laughs> Philip is still alive and well? God damn. How long has that been down here? Much too warm in here. Couldn't stand around here all day. Amelius, look sad. Mrs. Cuthbert. Andrew, taking stock. And there is the cheese. No, uh, the cheese. The sausage and, and the cheese. Taking stock. New seller, uh, cellarer to come soon. And Johnny Boy. Um. Let's some tracks with this. Can I use the mortar? For what? The mortar? Yes. Why shouldn't you? What do you want to use it for? Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. It's over here. Now I see. Milia said I could use it. But for what though? Maybe uh, it's gonna help us uh, later on. Milia said I could use it. Alright. Uh, what else oh. can we interact with here? Oh. 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 Damn. Melissa looks depressed and sucked in. You miss Cuthbert, hmm? Oh. I do. The thought of being here without him. But you won't be alone. I'd rather be alone than spend the rest of my days cooped up in here with someone like Brother Andrew. <laughs> or whoever will be the new cellarer. Did you talk to Philip about it? <sighs> about what? You know, I think I should. But Philip and I haven't talked since Cuthbert passed on. 
As prior, he always has something else to worry about. And I think he, uh... Would be uh, willing to talk uh, to him. Uh, after all, Cuthbert was oh, the one that nominate, yes. uh, nominated him. To be, uh, to be uh, a prior. That was actually in the show as well. I remember that as well. Cuthbert that was the, the one that uh, actually suggested that uh, uh, Philip would uh, <sighs> uh, nominate himself. Why does Philip want me to read the Bible? He thinks that if you put that mind of yours to good use, you could be a great scholar. Are you saying I'm not putting it to good use right now? No, but there is still so much you could learn. I've never seen him so sad. I've never seen him so sad. Damn, that sucks. All right, let's uh, talk to the to this piece of shit. <laughs> Better not. I don't want to disturb him. <laughs> Better not. Better not. I don't want to disturb him. I guess uh, we can't do anything, huh? Uh, can we talk about other subjects? Was Alfred here? Come on, why are you, we asking are you about Alfred here again? No. Yes. Was Alfred here? No. Are you? No. Milius, what do you do when you don't want to work? Well, I don't know. I just take a step back and think about why I have trouble doing my work. Usually I'm just distracted by an idea or a thought and I start pondering. Exactly. That's what happens to me too. Try not to follow your thoughts like will-o'-the-wisps. Just notice them for a second. See them fading away, and then continue working. Hmm. To the next step, and the next. Jack? He's ignoring what? you altogether. <laughs> I was listening, really. And yeah, well, what? Does Jack uh, have a. Uh... blessing that Brother Cuthbert doesn't have to see this. <laughs> Uh, what uh, Jack also uh, not all not only he's a bitch made he also have uh, ADHD too ADHD ADHD too <sighs> Damn Elise is still uh, sighing huh All right let's um uh, I don't think we uh, need to talk to him about that oh, The fullers see. have trouble with their hands Of course they have it's worse than salting fish. <laughs> what can we do about it? Do you think there's a remedy? Your mother should know. She knows all about herbs. Well, I guess. Cuthbert, too. What about you? I don't know much about herbs. I still haven't got around to start a garden. Damn. I don't know if I'll ever be able to start it without Cuthbert's help. What about, what about the nuts that we gave you? Oh, I'll ask mother then. She's probably at the small clearing by the river. Hmm. Wonder if we should go uh, to her, since it's definitely not the uh, not the uh, the main objective. He said something about Will of the Wisps. <laughs> that's about it. He said. All right, that's the moral of the story, Will of the Wisps. I should ask Mother for a herb to help the Fullers. I should ask Mother. Ask about the book? I am looking for a book. The kitchen is not the best place to start looking for a book. You should try the scriptorium instead. But you need to get past Remigius to get into the prior's house. Ah, shit. Remigius is still here, huh? I am looking for a book. The you should, but you need. Better not. It's I don't want to. Here now, I see. Well, I guess. Uh, uh that's that. Whoa. Does Jonathan has anything to say about Alfred? 
Well, I guess he said that. Who do you like better? Uh, me yeah. or Alfred? Alfred. What? <laughs> hey, watching out for the little one is work too. <laughs> oh, well, I guess. No, he's too young oh, to care yeah, about the ailments of our hardworking women. <laughs> he is much too young for that. For the um, for the uh, Amoris uh, book? Well, I guess that's right. Well, I guess. Oh. Um, door to the cloisters. Yeah, might as well uh, go check on the cloisters a little bit. Ooh. Alright. Cloister uh, definitely looks a little bit different. Well, it's uh, all the same, really, but... Uh, almost the same, but... Uh, I don't think the... Uh, the roofs were made of wood, though, right? Might be remembering uh, things wrong, though. Hmm. Alrighty. <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and check the area around us. Uh, path to the mill. This one, uh, this, one uh, this path uh, is going to uh, get us immediately to the mill. They kept this gate locked now. Monks don't want uh, even more people disturbing them. It's still, uh, this uh, this door has. I don't think the, the, this door has ever been open at all. It's weird. To the market. Much quieter in here. Jonathan Builder. What up, my builder? A door into the cathedral. Blocked. Can't get in here. Naturally. Uh, let me interact with this door over here. Uh, locked. The monks don't want people to disturb them, I guess. Uh, locked. The monks don't want people to... Gotta be honest with you viewers, I thought we were gonna be, uh, taking control of Jack, uh, by the third book, but I guess, uh, uh, we just started the, uh, we kinda just started the, uh, the second book when we already taking control of Jack, you know, uh, uh, in his uh, mature, uh, virgin at the very least, in his mature self. Uh It's blocked. I have to go in through the front. It's blocked. I have to Can I check the garden again? I guess. The chapter house. I hear monks uh convene for elections and discussions. Locked. Ah, locked. Ah. What do they keep in there? Path to the cemetery. Oh! Arnaldus is still here. Whoa! Jonathan already <laughs> teleported Get there. The mortar won't mix itself. <laughs> the mortar won't complain if it has to wait until I'm done with me break. Well, the mortar won't, but I will. Oh yes. Yeah, we're we're gonna hear what, uh, what they're uh, disappeared for the better part of the morning. What they're trying to say? Yeah, that's none of your business. Now get to work. No.
I uh, did work uh, on uh, construction uh, uh, projects like these. Uh, well, I'm not going to say like these, but uh, definitely, I would say definitely even bigger than these. And uh, uh, I do understand that uh, labor is actually really taxing on people, so I definitely make sure that people take the rest. Uh, usually, I definitely uh, like make sure, not gonna, I was about to say force, but I'm gonna try to say like. Uh, Make sure that people uh, start at the very uh, early morning, and I'm trying to actually get at least uh, like four hours of work out of them before I uh, before I uh, make them take a rest. And I usually give them like a two hours uh, uh, rest because uh, you know, uh, two hours rest is actually I don't think it's uh, even enough for the for the. Uh, for the labor you do know that they do. And the reason for that is is I'm that labor work is actually it's really here. taxing on the body. And some of some of the works that they uh, worked with me, they were a little bit old. So, like uh, if you're in your uh, early twenties, uh, like it's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you you get fatigued, but you kind of get actually it's easy for you to get back uh, at it uh, the next day. But uh, for older people, like in their uh, even I would say I would even probably say in their uh, in their early thirties, uh, the hard work can be really taxing for them. That's the reason why you don't see uh, you don't see uh, like uh, sports uh, people that are uh, athletes in general that are actually are consistent in their uh, uh, in their performance uh, especially for uh, like speaking about athletes that uh, like play in uh, in leagues that uh, they play uh, uh, that they play uh, like uh, on on a regular basis like every week a match every week like for, for like football for uh, football for some like for, uh, as an example uh, or basketball uh, even you're gonna have to play uh, a game, probably even m more than that, if you're uh, in the big leagues in your in your, uh, and if then and if you're like uh, for example like Barcelona or Arsenal or something or uh, one of these teams, they're probably gonna play uh, three games a week, especially if you're playing uh, like for uh, for your uh, Premier League, European uh, Cup, European League. Uh, the the, uh, the Champions League uh, that's a lot of work uh, of course oh, like yes. uh, not to mention that actually you know you uh, like getting your regular exercises and whatnot and then going to the match and all that like all of that is actually really taxing and and uh, for older people uh, as I said like even early as the uh, uh, the early 30s, uh, can, it can be taxing. It really can be taxing. And, and I can actually give myself an example. I'm my I'm in my early 40s, uh, viewers, and I do like uh, the 12-kilometer uh, uh, jogging session every day, and these are taxing on me. Like, once I'm finished, like, actually, I can actually feel uh, uh, be really, like, uh, <laughs> I really do feel it all. Uh, Come on! That it takes on me, like uh, going for these jogs. So uh, sometimes when I like, uh, it's not even sometimes. Like uh, I'm gonna get an injury from actually doing that every day. So I, I'll uh, and once I get an injury, I'm like uh, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna be out of commission for for maybe three, four, five, uh, maybe even six weeks before I actually go back to my jogging session. So, uh, yeah, uh, managing that, all of that uh, is, uh, is not easy. So you can actually, uh, especially with trying to meet, uh, deadlines, because you, you can force people to work, but this is what is going to happen here. People are gonna, not going to do 100% work, 100, uh, uh, like 100%, uh, uh, they're not going to be in there 100%, uh, uh, 
performance and uh, they're not gonna meet your expectation uh, and nagging on them like this is definitely not gonna make uh, things better from my experience at the very least so uh, so I, I try to always uh, make sure that uh, they uh, take uh, they they be well rested some of them are just lazy lazy ass people especially if they're young ones if they were young ones I can be as uh, I'll be I'll be uh, harsh on them the older people uh, not so much because uh, most of the older people that I actually work with uh, they actually do a fine job uh, and I am like uh, allow them to take risks some of them are actually even like uh, workaholics and I kind of try and forbid them <laughs> not to overwork themselves because especially when uh, we need them uh, like uh, the outmost sometimes we're gonna probably gonna have to pull like a, uh, a double duty or a, a, at the very late of the project we're gonna have to work uh, a lot and no longer shift so that's when I actually need them uh, at, the, at their highest uh, performance so yeah it's all about managing really it's uh, it's easier of course easier said than done uh, I haven't been doing these projects for a while uh, now though viewers uh last one that I actually did was like uh, around damn Get or the mortar won't like almost uh, three years or or something like around the three years uh, uh, I've been like uh, most of the project that I actually been been like I finished uh, them well, the uh, during uh, uh, the the covid epidemic oh, or yeah. at the very at uh, the very least the very start uh, of it when I actually had to uh, actually to go and actually f uh, finish that but I finalized everything like probably uh, last year but uh, I really haven't been in the field like that for uh, for a moment and I really from I'm probably not gonna be doing uh, this kind of work in the future but who knows who knows uh, you try to set some goals try to go uh, and try and uh, do things that you want to do but uh, you know as I said I th this is something that I think uh, I always say uh, uh, almost in every <laughs> let's play uh, that I'm that I uh, that I record is that uh, uh, I always go by the saying that uh, I'll always remind people that there's a saying that that goes by uh, the ship uh, the ship uh, the ship goes where the uh, the wind blows, which uh, you know sometimes you're not uh, in control of uh, the things that uh, you want to do. Sometimes you're gonna, get, you're gonna have to drift with the flow, and, and you absolutely have no option. Uh, absolutely no option uh, other than actually go uh, with the flow. You do know that we might all lose our work. All right, so these guys are not gonna shut the hell up. Uh, let's go ahead and continue uh, checking this area around. And when I'm out of work, I want at least to be. Our, uh, brother Ronaldo sleeping by Cuthbert's grave. That's Cuthbert. Oh, rest in peace. Cuthbert died half a year ago. Miss Cuthbert. If you would do your job, then I wouldn't have to yell. Arguing workers. Doesn't seem like uh, they work well together. Uh, why can't they just uh, get along? Uh, sometimes you actually have to manage uh, things like that. Uh, people are just some like there are some people that uh, just don't work a little uh, well with each other. So you actually have to separate them. I've been in situations like these uh, before as well. Uh, actually, there was a situation that was uh, that happened to me like recently, which is uh, stupid. From here, Cathedral looks finished. Uh, only a few more years. Tom Tom's name will be known uh, in all of England. And it's not. It's not. It's uh, uh, also. I'm gonna. <laughs> I might actually bore you. Uh, even uh, sorry for boring you uh, even more with the uh, with the my line of work viewers, but uh, uh, like it's not even like uh, uh, 
Sometimes, like these uh, silly arguments, people relate them for, uh, with people that... People don't relate them to people that usually are in a, you know, that uh, with high academic achievements. Like, especially we're talking about doctors and engineers and whatnot. But believe me, this is uh, like, we're human beings. And sometimes uh, we human beings uh, forget that we're human beings and start uh, acting like fucking animals. And let me tell you, like, um, like uh, the re uh, what recently happened uh, with me, like, uh, uh, that, like, uh, th this sort of uh, useless, na uh, useless uh, arguments... Uh, that doesn't go anywhere that happened with, uh, with, uh, people that, you know, with high uh, academics, PhDs, like, but they're doctors, like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, <laughs> I, I don't wanna dox them, but they were doctors, and they're having these silly issues, which is really annoying yeah, to joking. deal with, really annoying to deal with, uh, so yeah, uh, we're, uh, people can Why still, People will still behave like uh, humans. All right, and by that I mean that they're gonna, uh, uh, they're gonna act uh, by their emotions, aka like animals. Let's in, uh, interact with uh, Arnaldus. Cuthbert is dead. I hope you're happy wherever you are. What do you mean? Wherever he is, he's lying right there. I made sure his wait for Judgment Day is comfortable. Philip thinks we might uh, go to heaven when we die. No. We lie in wait till Judgment Day. That's why I want someone good to bury me, to make sure I lie well. I hope you will remember your promise that you will bury me. <laughs> well, that was that was a long time ago. My first night in the Priory. I'll bury you, Brother Arnaldus. Don't worry. Thank you. And thank you for looking after Cuthbert. Cuthbert's fate. Oh, uh, all right. I guess we're gonna have to inspect about that. Uh, let me fix these. <laughs> these are a little bit weird. <clears throat> Cuthbert's fate. Cuthbert's last days. Cuthbert died in the first week of uh, 1141. It had been a harsh winter. Uh, in the days before his death, he had uh, complained that he had trouble breathing and had suffering from a pain in his chest. He instructed Milius to find him a herb called Mary's Tears. The tea he made uh, from the herb seemed uh, to help for a few hours, but the same night Cuthbert's uh, fever got worse, and his breathing shallow, and his breathing shallow. So that, uh, the, 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 the herbs uh, do this? Damn, my mom killed uh, Cuthbert. No. Milius stayed uh, with him and talked uh, to him until he fell asleep. Next morning, he didn't uh, wake up. Uh, he didn't wake again. When Cuthbert died, he was 68 years old. 68 is, uh, is considered like a, a long time, especially in back in the day. Uh, 58 years of his life uh, he had spent in uh, Kingsbridge. Uh, in Kingsbridge. There was no one old enough to remember the day he had come to the Priory. Cuthbert uh, had never talked about his family, but to most monks he had been uh, like a father, and to uh, Jonathan a grandfather, which had given Cuthbert great joy during the last years of his life. May he rest in peace. Rest in peace, uh, Cuthbert. Rest in peace. You do know that we might all lose our work. I know. And these guys uh, are gonna ruin uh, the moment uh, of peace here, huh? Ah, oh, damn it! I think out work, Brother Arnaldus fell asleep. Mm, he's snoring. I think and Brother Arnaldus. Mm, he's snoring. I think Brother Arnaldus. And he's snoring. 
I was here a few days ago. I better not get too close. I wonder if this is gonna be like uh, uh, something uh, optional that we can do, but I don't think it's gonna be uh, good to do that while Jonathan is uh, is uh, in here. Let's talk to these fools. What's the problem? I'm taking me well-deserved break. Well-deserved? You deserve a good kick in, you lazy drunk. Better a drunk than a bearded bastard. Bearded. Come on then, kick me. Show me what you got. Please, this is leading nowhere. Think for a moment what other people would do. What? Who? Uh, think with other people. Uh, they definitely respect uh, Philip. Uh, oh, the prior. Oh yes, the prior Philip's not running around drunk now, is he? No, he's not, and I'm not either. I'm sitting. <laughs> and there's my problem right there. Get up and push. Philip would. No, he wouldn't. A break is like a Sunday. It's a sin to work on a Sunday. Well, that's true. It's not a Sunday! But it's my break! I guess we're gonna have to mention all the people, huh? Uh, Tom Builder. Now, he's a hard worker, isn't he? True, he's a hard worker, that he is. But also the man knows how to take a break. That's true. I agree with that. And he knows when to give others room for a break. This is not your break. You've been taking a shit for half a day and used up yours. Now don't you start and ruin mine too. Oh, wow. Look at them go. When I take a break, you take one too. Has your wife been cooking again, eh? Dare you. Took you half no, a day to take a shit? What the hell did you eat? That's some nasty constipation. Think of other people. <laughs> Alfred Builder, uh, the Earl of Shiring. King Stephen, Jack Jackson. <laughs> Ah, Jack Jackson. Who said? Never heard that name. That's me. I thought you were Jack Builder. Well, I have two dads. I don't know what to make of you, to be honest. Shouldn't you be working? You're just running about everywhere. You never get anything done. At least don't keep us from working, thank you very much. Oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Arnaldus? Brother Arnaldus. Good example indeed. That poor man is as good as dead. <laughs> What's your excuse for lying around in the cemetery? What's your excuse for having a beard like a bear's arse? <laughs> Get back to work! Never! And stop Never! Yelling! Never! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna have to go through all of the people, I guess. Alfred. Alfred Builder. Oh, he's a good example. He's a master builder now. But he likes his beard, doesn't he? No, oh, yes, he does. But he's always sober when he's working. Always. You know, maybe I should be a bit more like Alfred Builder. Damn. Me too. You have got to be kidding me. Damn. Well, then, back to <laughs> yeah, work. I thought that that would uh, make uh, no. 
I make uh, Jack uh, jealous. Alfred Builder would know when his break is up. Alfred Builder would know when to shut the hell up. Uh, I doubt he would. <laughs> Nah, I think he, he knows when to, to shut up. Jack is, uh, is uh, like, uh, from what you've seen so far, Alfred definitely is, uh, like, uh, he has his head uh, above his shoulders. The Earl of Shiring. Uh, which one? Earl Bartholomew or the fat one, the new one? Percy Hamley! You don't know the name of our Earl? He's not my Earl. <laughs> I'm from Earl's Castle. <laughs> Hashtag not my Earl. president. A great man. But he's dead now. Hashtag not he? my president. God. Stop the count! You don't know the name of your new Earl. What? The fat one? <laughs> Percy Hamley! You know what? I refuse to remember that name. What? Why? For spite! It wasn't right what he did to my Earl. You know what? What you're doing isn't right either. I refuse to remember your name as well. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> Already did it. <laughs> These guys are uh, uh, top tier. King Stephen. What about King Stephen? Now. That is a man who sits a lot. How would you know? He's got a throne. He's the king. Of course he's got a throne. And he's sitting on it. He's got a throne. Of course the man knows how to sit. Oh, like you, you mean? Yeah, like me on me well-deserved break. Or you on yours when you're sitting on the shitter for half a day. I was not! I heard you farting from here. <laughs> you think I want to shit for half a day? You think that? Well, you better think again. Uh, Remigius? Well, I guess he's... He might be a hard worker. The subprime. Oh, don't get me started on supplier images. <laughs> he is a hard-working man. He is. And don't you doubt it. What? That he is a hard-working man. Who? Supplier images. You fool. <laughs> what? <laughs> How dare they? How dare you? Shouting in the cemetery like heathens. But we, I... Uh, silence! Do you have any idea how hard the work of a subprior is? Oh, how much God. Devotion and painful work now we have brought uh, a third party? <laughs> <laughs> to this, uh, to this, uh, clown show? We didn't! Silence, I say! I will think of a way to make you two understand the kind of behavior I expect in this priory. I think they'll be busy for a while. <laughs> we place our trust in you. We take you in. Uh, that was uh, that was great. I gotta be honest, that was uh, absolutely amazing. Remigius and arguing workers. Better stay away, or Remigius will start uh, scolding me too. Uh, I wonder if we can ask. Mm, that won't help me solve my problem with Alfred. The subprior has to handle everything he neglects. <laughs> I better keep at a distance. Everything. I don't want to be scolded too. Oh, I guess yeah. I have even more responsibilities than the prior himself. Maybe we actually needed that to uh, to get inside the uh, the house. Yeah, to search uh, the book. Hmm, maybe that was uh, a solution, huh? Damn, happy accident. 
now uh, includes uh, the Spectorium. I just but it began training scribes and uh, what? The Scriptorium. Uh, training scribes and illuminators. Also taught me a bit. Well, right, let's get inside. Like, he like heathens! Now these guys are writing. Young monk. Very focused? Or just afraid? Should take a break. Remedius is uh, still down there. He is really upset. Working hard. Should relax. At least while Remedius is gone. <laughs> Good guy. A monk, but a friend. Uh, if you considered him a friend, why don't you know his name? You hypocrite. Books, so many stories. So much wisdom. Most of them are more interesting than the Bible. Whoa. Don't say that out loud. Smart monk. It was good uh, to talk to him. So much wisdom. Alright, uh, I guess let's uh, start uh, talking... Uh, uh, to the monks. Hey, can I read what you're working on? No, Remigius will get angry if I don't finish this. What is he writing? I can't concentrate if you're breathing down my neck. There's nothing to see here. Just go, please. Oh no, I think I made a mistake. Uh, not my problem. Remigius will shout at both of us if he sees us talking. Don't you have things to do, Jack? <laughs> How could Alfred just say something like that about Aliena? Dub, he didn't respond uh, to that? I doubt people would want to do my... I don't think that will help the fuller. Ask him about the book? Mm, I should ask someone who knows about books instead. Uh, it seems like he should be. Maybe the one that's actually doing the, the reading and not the writing? What are you working on? Go away! <laughs> I have to focus. <laughs> Maybe people, uh, maybe these people are not just, uh, maybe these people are just not, uh, you know, they just don't want to talk to you, Jack. <laughs> maybe they just uh, using that excuse uh, just uh, so they don't uh, talk to you.